Hello again, I'm Reverend Harvey Cook, pastor of Congregational Care at Six Mount Zion Baptist Temple in Hampton, Virginia. I want to welcome you to another Therapy on Thursday. Grief is a human occurrence that everyone will experience in their life. Our grief response for this week is anger. Last week we talked about denial and it serves as a human defense mechanism to help avoid the pain of separation and loss. But this week's grief reaction is the emotion, anger, uh, that appears when one starts to live again in reality. Anger is a grief um, reaction when we might blame ourselves and our family and our friends and others for uh, the loss. We ask ourselves, why me? We say life is unfair, and those who are strong in their faith might even question God. God, where were you? God, why did you allow this to happen to me? Why didn't you protect me from this loss? So we want to deal with anger on today because these grief reactions are encouraged by and deemed necessary by those who are in the profession of researching grief mental health uh, positions, they said we must feel grief. See, we are human beings, and God gave us emotions as a means of dealing with our losses. Uh, it's a natural response. It's, it's unhealthy to suppress your anger. God wants us to feel the pain, express it, and allow him to help us to maneuver through life as our coping mechanism. Grief is the natural and, 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 and healthy way to allow our feelings to, to rise to the top so they can move out of us. Someone once said, you can't heal what you can't feel. I received a text this morning from a person who is going through surgery on tomorrow. And She's going to have to go to the building without the presence of the family, without the presence of a clergy, and she is in a vulnerable situation all by herself. And not having the physical presence of her family and a pastor or the clergy, she's suffering from grief. She later apologized for the angry emoji that she put in the text. But I wanted her to know that anger is a natural response. See, society says anger is wrong and sinful, that we should control our anger, anger towards others and towards our situation. However, anger is the natural response to the feeling of being disconnected, the feeling of having uh, no power and and the feeling of abandonment. Anger is said to be the, the emotion that connects us with reality. Anger is, is natural in the healing process of grief. The more you feel the anger, the more it softens, the sooner you will heal. We're encouraged to be angry and to uh, not to be controlled by it. So what we need to do is we need to talk it out. We need to write it out. We need to feel it. We need to find ways to express our grief. And in finding those ways to express our grief, then we will find the help for our anger. Join me on next week, therapy on Thursday, for the grief response, guilt. Let us pray. God, we thank you that you are a God that's big enough to handle our reaction of anger. God, I thank you for giving us the emotions that we might express our anger. And God, we are asking that as we express that anger, God, that you would bring about the healing that we need. God, we thank you for being a wonderful and a, a God that is able to help our hurting hearts. Thank you for being with us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.